Okay, welcome to the first episode, technically, of Kerbal Space Program. Now, I don't know how long this playthrough is going to be. Obviously, it's not going to be an entire playthrough, seeing as I couldn't even get rockets off the ground at the start. Uh, I, I did a little bit of practice beforehand, but um, I want to do everything on my own. I don't want to have to study things. I want to just figure things out. And that's the fun of the game to me, just failing until I succeed. And most of these things that are listed here, I have no idea what any of this means. But uh, practice makes perfect, so that's what we're going to depend upon. And... Uh, yeah, I forgot to turn the audio on. There we go. So we're going to start as basic as we can and work our way up. First, I want to be able to, you know, get something into space and then hopefully try and get it into an orbit around Earth. If that's what this is called, I don't know. Mm. Seeing as I don't really know how what the thrusters do, what the difference is. Let's see, max engine power to 15. Does it say anything about fuel usage? What does this say? 360 liquid fuel. Let's just make something very, very basic to start with. As basic as possible. Um, we'll have some... Whoa, no. Those are way too big. Those look silly. Standard control surface, that's kind of weird as well. That's not for a rocket. Let's just get two wings here. Snap to a grid. Uh, it's not even a second phase to this, but it's just practice because I have no idea what I'm doing yet. I want a little parachute on top so the guy doesn't die. And it looks more rockety. Look at that. We have an extra phase. Rocket first. There we go. And in case we do somehow, with the limited fuel, make it into space, we'll want some RCS. Now, I don't really know anything about RCS yet. I don't even know how to make it work. But we're just going to put it on here, and we'll need fuel for this RCS. Um... Where do I find that? Here we go. I think this is it. Yeah, RCS tank. Oh, this is one too. Let's see. 40. So I could stick this in between somewhere, huh? Let's see. Can we detach that and put this in between? I'm guessing these would have to be attached to it, though, to actually make use of the fuel and this is gonna control it really weirdly because it's you know gonna flip the front around and I don't think that's gonna really control properly I well practice makes perfect let's just see how far this really really simple crappy design gets and work our way up from there <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get very far uh, okay Thrusters, go. Let's just see if the thing is stable. That's of importance primarily. And you see the fuel empties really, really, really quickly. And also there's this SAS thing that I haven't figured out yet. Apparently it makes your ship more stable. I should probably figure that one out. I can't find the parts that actually enable it. I know that this is RCS button. This thing seems pretty stable so far. It's very basic, but um, it's very, very stable. I don't have to steer at all. That's very nice. But I think it's going to run out of fuel before I actually get anywhere. So we're going to have to do multiple stages, which will make the thing bigger and more unstable right away. Let's just see how far this gets. Well, oh, it's the atmosphere. Look at that. Okay. So I'm not very far at all. I'm still going up, though. Let's let this ride out for a while and see what happens. Um. 
Yeah, I am going to fall eventually. So this is definitely not cutting it. Like, this is not getting far enough, right? This is eventually going to lower too much. And then I'm going to drop back to Earth. Can I get to space before that happens, though? I don't think I can. I'm losing too much speed. But it's interesting to see what everything does and how it works out. Like once we're there, we should be able to stay there if I do things right. Obviously right now, no, I'm just plummeting back to earth. So let's see here. What do I want to do? Oh, I'm so bad at controlling this thing. It's going to take me a lot of time to get used to controlling these ships. Is actually pretty bad. Let's see. Uh, oh god, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Seriously. <laughs> I'm just gonna spin it out of control, I think. Okay. Can we rotate this? That's what I'm looking for. Yes, there. That That's what I was looking for. There's going to be a lot of just trying to learn how to control the ship. And see if I can... Yeah, I can enable that. Oh, boy. That... Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, we're definitely plummeting down to Earth. This is um not what I expected RCS to do. Great. Well, Jebediah is definitely going to die. That's for sure, because we're just going to spin out. I don't know. I don't really have control over this anymore. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can stabilize it. And get it to the middle of the blue orb thingy. That'll put us in a good position for the parachute. The first few videos are probably just going to be little test flights like this. And I'm going to very slowly, bit by bit, hopefully make it further and step up a bit. <laughs> Obviously, this is a colossal failure so far. but uh, I have no idea when I should actually be activating this parachute either. I don't know anything about this kind of thing. Like, I'm as oblivious as can be. I'm assuming it, I, I don't do it while I'm... Oh, shit. Don't spin out. Don't spin out. I'm going to just do it now and see what happens. Because I have no idea. It seems to be doing something. At least, I don't think he'll die. No, he'll be fine. Let's see how far did we actually get nowhere. I've been around, like in my testing, I was around three-fourths the way around the Earth. So it was pretty close to getting into orbit on that run, but I didn't. It doesn't count. There we go. Yeah, he's going to be absolutely fine. But uh, he didn't do much. And uh, we learned that RCS doesn't work <laughs> like I expected it to. So we're going to have to go to multiple stages. Hmm. Well, let's see. How do I end this flight? I'm just going to let him land first. I wonder if this thing is going to stand up. No, it's just going to roll down the hill, probably. Because <laughs> we're landing on a slope. It's just going to tip over. Oh! Okay. Well, you know, he's alive. <laughs> It, it's totally a success. Yes, and this flight. Vehicle assembly building. Right, so we need more stages. That's for sure. And let's see. Let's move this up. Get you down a bit. Um, let's see, no, I want to take you off. No, actually I don't. Because I can connect another to this. 
Yeah, and that covers it up. Okay. So we have a second fuel tank with a second thruster. But now this thing is going to be unstable as hell, right? Also, I need to be able to decouple this. So we're going to put this there. And then, let's see. So that's the first thruster. Then that thing decouples when that tank is empty. Uh, and those shouldn't be in the same phase. We'll activate the second thruster and the parachute at the same time. That would be quite horrific. Let's move you here, move you here, move you here. Huh. Okay, so that should be good. But these wings are obviously not going to cut it. Like, that's terrible, right? Um, maybe we can get those really, really big ones. Or should we have multiple wings? Like, have wings on both sections. Let's just try that first. So, we'll have two wings. There. So, when it decouples, it's back to the initial ship we had, which seems to work out pretty well. I wonder if I can actually stop the thrusters. I haven't found a way to actually stop the thrusters, in, like, midway. Isn't this thing just going to tip over on the launch platform, though? I think this is going to be a lot less stable. Let's find out. Uh, let's put the thrusters up and just boost this thing up and see what happens. Yeah, you can already see it tipping over quite severely. Like, compared to the last run. That went pretty much perfectly straight up. I think a lot of people are going to be annoyed by my stupidity during this playthrough because I really have no idea what's going on and what any of these words mean. <laughs> but, you know. I can keep trying. We'll get there. This is going fairly well. I didn't have to adjust it too much. Uh, when is this tank? Uh, wow, we're going really slow really slow hmm so when that runs out we'll decouple it and boost on with the other one there we go next one speed up really fast um, don't don't do any crazy things come on stay in the middle there I still mess up these inverted controls because up and down are inverted but left and right aren't. I go and mix them up and that usually gets me to spin out of control. This is still not going to get me far. I guess I'm going to have to put like multiple rockets next to each other to initially like launch myself into space and then like a second one to just maneuver around there. We're doing better, though, I mean, shooting up there. We might actually make it in, but all we have left, then, is RCS, and that's not going to get us anywhere. Because I'm pretty sure we need some vertical... Mm, come on. Like, right now, I'm just going to crash down into Earth. Wait, actually, I want it this way. We go. I assume that music means space. Awesome. Can I stabilize this rolling though? Oh, I'm doing it wrong, that's for sure. Oh boy! Okay. I keep doing it wrong. Okay, so where is this going to go, I wonder? I can't stabilize this roll. Yeah, it's, again, going to plummet right into Earth. But if I actually had any fuel left, I think I could 
burn myself into an orbit of sorts. But I, I don't know how any of that works, so I'm gonna have to, you know, test a lot to figure that out. But I assume I just need more. Let's see actually what happens if we just go into this thing. I don't know what that actually does. I think that's the only way to maybe stabilize it. We're gonna have to learn how to... Oh, go back. Well, we already made some progress this video. Not a lot, but you know, it's something. We're gonna get pretty far in, but we still need a way to, you know, actually get into orbit around the Earth here. Because right now we're just plummeting into it over and over. So I'm gonna need more fuel, I think. I don't think, once I'm in space, I don't think I need like a giant booster. Like I can just sort of, hmm, nudge myself in the right direction. Well, you're screwed because RCS isn't going to get you anywhere. I'm pretty sure. That's just going to like... Yeah, that's just going to screw you over, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, you're just going to spin out of control or something. Uh, you have fun crashing to Earth, I suppose. I'm gonna end this flight, because this is not gonna go anywhere. This has been the first video. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully the next one I'll be able to actually, you know, get in orbit around the Earth. We'll see. Goodbye.